but let's say you installed GNOME 44, but let's say that you're a KDE user, or maybe you just want to try KDE, or maybe you miss KDE, or whatever the reason is you want to install KDE. Well, there's a couple of options. You can go to the Fedora website and you can download the KDE uh, spin of Fedora, which will run Plasma 5.27 point something or other. But say you already have this installed and you say, you know what, I don't want to download the Fedora spin and start over. In addition to that, if you install the KDE spin of Fedora, you're not going to have some of the GNOME tools that you might like. There's lots of reasons that you could choose to do this right whatever the reason you know there's different ways to do it one of the easiest ways to do it is to do it this way you want to open up a terminal whatever you want to do that just open that up zoom in a little bit so you can see what i'm doing here by installing kd plasma on fedora 38 with gnome 44 you'll have your dolphin file manager kate text editor your you know the kget download manager kml Krita, KD Connect, Ocular, Document Viewer, um, all these different um, KD applications. Yeah, you can install those on GNOME as long as you have a libraries and they'll work. But you want to use a Plasma desktop, right? And this is what we're going to do. Got the terminal open. And you want to do this using sudo. So you want to type sudo dnf y. You want to do a group install. You just install Plasma on its own or the KDE desktop on its own. You're not going to get everything that you'd get if you're running the KDE spin of Fedora, right? And that group that we're going to install is called, and make sure you put the quotation marks there, KDE Plasma Workspaces. Make sure the Plasma and the Workspaces are capitalized. Enter. All right. Put in your password for sudo. And then it's going to start. A couple of things to do once this is installed is um, if you don't want to have any issues in the future with uh, uh, conflicts between configuration files and things like that between the two desktops, namely GNOME and Plasma, then you could create a new user profile and then you can use one pro profile to log into GNOME. If you want to use that, log out. You can use the, the new profile to log into Plasma. Um, I actually have tried this um, on another computer, on my laptop actually, where I set up a different user profile and was using KDE Plasma on that. And everything worked pretty good. But I said, hey, you know what, because I'm a risk taker and I like, uh, you know, seeing, you know, kind of experimenting, seeing what's going to happen if I do things on Linux. Hence the reason I've messed up my Linux boxes before, lots, lots and lots of times. Um, you can, um, you know, try logging in with the same user profile that you use for GNOME. Well, I did that and I haven't had any issues at all. I don't know if things were fixed or whatever, or they, they separate some things um between the I don't, I don't know but i can tell you that it uh it worked pretty damn good pretty good so and that's and that's what i'm doing is using plasma and once in a while i say you know what i feel like using gnome and i'll i'll log back into gnome 44 and use that and everything works fine uh some of the things i've seen in the past though i haven't seen it yet on fedora 38 some of the things I've seen in the past that were issues for me were, say, I am in uh, Plasma and you install a new icon theme. Well, when you go back into GNOME, you not you might not want to use that same icon theme, but then you see that that icon icon theme is in use in GNOME 44, just like it is in Plasma. But you might not want that, so you and you change the icon theme back to the default or some other theme that looks pretty good on on GNOME and it's all cool and stuff and then you log out and later on you log back into Plasma and then you see your icon theme changed. I haven't seen that yet on Fedora 38. I'm not saying it can't happen but I've seen it in the past and then some settings get kind of wonky and stuff like that in certain programs you know that you might use. Your browsers um, are most likely not going to sync up well in regards to your save bookmarks uh, whatever sync settings you got. 
in whatever browser you use, whether it's Brave, Google Chrome, if you're into that, you know, Microsoft Edge, God forbid, for using that sucker. Now, one thing I'll say about Microsoft Edge is it, it works really well, but you know, if you're cool with uh, Microsoft telemetry and having to log in to an account and them sharing your information and collecting information on where you're browsing and stuff like that, psh, go for it. Um, I personally don't like that. So even though Edge is a pretty good browser, even on Linux, um, I just stay away from that. Now, I'll use Google Chrome uh, sometimes uh, for, you know, when I'm uploading uh, YouTube videos and things like that because, well, YouTube is owned by Google. So, you know, what are you going to do, right? Right now, as of, uh, as of the recording of this video here, a whole 82 subscribers on my channel, which is pretty cool because I've been running for a couple of months now and I have 82 subscribers, not a lot. But once I get to 100, which is 18 more, then what I can do is I can um, import all of my YouTube videos over to Odyssey. They, they require that you have at least 100 subscribers in order to do that. So once I do that, I'll, I'll be on Odyssey as well. All right, guys. So here we are. We logged into KDE Plasma, so we got it. So now we have KDE Plasma. Matter of fact, while I'm here, I'm going to change it to the uh, dark mode. I like that better. It doesn't blind me. So it's running Plasma 5.27.4. Of course, we have the kernel 6.2.9-300, the Fedora. And there we go. We're good to go. Hey, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. appreciate your time. Um, I hope I'm able to help somebody out with this video. If you liked it, please click on the like button if you didn't like it click the thumbs down but if you can do me a favor and tell me in the comments below why you didn't like it that'll help me get better i always appreciate a little bit of constructive criticism and i appreciate that so um if you really like the video please subscribe and i promise that i will continue to get better on these videos i haven't been doing it very long but i really like you know talking about linux and, and trying to help somebody out uh, using linux and perhaps i can show somebody how to do some things so Thank you, everybody, and uh, we'll see you all later.